Michelle and I'm here today to share my project. It's a design team project for Country Craft Creations and I made this really cute folio that I want to share with you. My design team package uh, was the Farmhouse Market Car by Cartabella uh, line and it was absolutely adorable and I really loved working with it and I think I made a pretty cute little project and I thought I'd share it with you. Um, the tutorial is done and uh, I will be editing and getting that uploaded here pretty soon. Uh, but I wanted to take you through a walkthrough of my project and show you what I did and what we're going to be making on the next tutorial. And I'm hoping to have that um, posted by tomorrow. So i um, working on it. I've been working really hard all day and um, I actually just got done finishing all the decorating and everything on this album. So my fingers are still inked from the um, ink that I've been using. <laughs> so um, anyway, uh, let's look at the uh, project. So again, this was uh, Cartabella's uh, Farmhouse Market um, line that I got uh, as a design team package. And in the package, um, I don't have a whole lot left. Um, I did get six by six papers, which I used to make my last uh, mini that I did the tutorial on, and this one was 12 by 12 papers. I want to say I used somewhere around 14 pieces of 12 by 12 paper um, to make this album. And also in the package, I got enamel dots, I got washi tape, which I made some embellishments with, and um, some chipboard uh, stickers, some puffy stickers, and some beautiful ribbon and seam bindings. So um, let's go through the folio. So it's an eight by eight folio and it's about an inch wide and I have it kind of chocked full of stuff. So <laughs> let's get going here. So the cover, um, simple cover, I had some of these in my stash, the metal corners. And um, so I used those. I made out of the washi tape that came with the kit, this banner that I put through. And then I also made the paper um, that I punched the butterfly out with and in the tutorial I'll talk about how I did that um, just real briefly. I also made flowers and in the center of the flower it's probably kind of hard to see but I used a washi tape um, that was on some cardstock that I made the flower with and then I used the enamel dots in the butterfly and the flowers and then I also got these um, I didn't get these flowers in the um, design team package but they fit perfectly so I went ahead and put those on. The gingham ribbon was in the design team package, had to use it. I just love it. It turned out really super cute. So there's the cover. This is our happy place, one of the cut aparts um, for the title. And then on the spine here, I used one of the chipboard pieces to, uh, that says home sweet home on the spine. And then out of my stash, I grabbed some stuff and made a charm. So I have this um, heart uh, lock and a key and then this little um, locket that actually opens so you could put a <laughs> little picture in there if you want to and um, anyways I used one of those ring fasteners to put that on and um, I didn't really talk about it in the tutorial but um, when I did this um, I covered this outside edge of the um, cover with the patterned paper and then punched it and then uh, put set the brad um, piece through and then I covered the inside so that's how I set it um, in there. So I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you do it. Then the back cover, um, I left plain, but this was one of the 12 by 12 pieces that was a strip of 12 by 12. And all I did was cut it in half and then made, um, banners out of the pieces to put the whole phrase on this one page. So, um, when you love what you have, you have everything that you need. I thought that was really cute. These little butterflies are, um, also the chipboard, uh, stickers that came with my design team package. So when you open this up, this is a fun album because I kind of played with different ways of making um, waterfalls. So when you first open it up to the very first page, I have what I've called a double stacked waterfall. And it, this is a take on the mini album that I made in my last video um, where I kind of did a stacked page album. Well, if you, I said in the end of the album, if you squish it flat, then ta-da, you have a waterfall. So that's what I did, um, except... I played with it a little bit and I made a double stacked waterfall. So basically it's 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 a waterfall. It doesn't look like it when you first untie with the seam binding, but then when you open it up, it opens up um, alternately from top to bottom and then has a nice space in between. So there there are actually, if you look at it from the end, basically two of those stacked page minis put together and then 
um, put opposite on the page so that they kind of cascade on each other. So that's why I called it a double stacked waterfall. And I thought that was kind of a cool little um, take on the waterfall idea. So instead of having to cut out so many pieces and score them all, you know, um, individually and put them on individually, um, I'll show you in the tutorial how to stack them together and then put them together and then how to put them on the page so that you have your double stacked waterfall and it, it was kind of a lot easier I think to do so I might be incorporating that a lot more in my minis so then this page the next page there's two pocket flaps that open up and then um, each pocket has a four by four cut apart that came with the collection and this one here says lovely. I just love this paper. It is so pretty. I love the colors. I left this plain just so you could put pictures. And then I did use some, I, I want to tell you, I used brown artisan cardstock and I used white artisan cardstock that I got from Country Craft Creations um, in making this album as well. So um, there's that page. Then it opens up like this. And then there's another waterfall over here. Um, but this waterfall is a little bit more traditional. That's not quite dry yet. Ooh, that's not quite dry yet. Yep, I knew it. I was so excited to get this video done that I didn't let it dry. <laughs> okay, so um, this is one of the uh, elements that I made using the washi tape. It's kind of a ruffled paper that I sewn onto a piece of lace, and I'll talk about that in the video. And then I put um, one of the die-cut chipboard pieces at the top, and it has a magnet closure. And then this is a waterfall. Okay, looks like the usual waterfall that we make, except it is one of the stacked pages. So I did it exactly like I did the album, little bit different dimensions, but um, then I just squished it flat and ta-da, we've got a waterfall. So um, I did that. And then underneath this waterfall, um, there's a triangle pocket. Um, I made this label using some of the washi tape and the enamel dots, and basically I just covered a piece of white cardstock with the um, washi tape and then punched it out with one of my punches that I had in my stash. And then this little envelope I thought was really cute. I had it in my stash, so I put another one of those 12 by 12 pieces in it that you can't really put in an 8x8 album, but I wanted to have it in here. So it's just a nice little pull-out tag and has the really cute quote by Laura Ingalls Wilder that says, the real things haven't changed. It is still best to be honest and truthful, to make the most of what we have, to be happy with simple pleasures, and have courage when things go wrong, which is so appropriate for today's times, isn't it? Um, so I just cut that out and I scored it into four inch sections and then I put that in this little envelope here and well, there we go. And then the envelope I put in the pocket. So this is kind of a cute little area to put something if you wanted to. And then that just closes with a magnet. So then this page here um, is just a plain pocket page. Well, not really a plain pocket page, but I mean, it's pretty cute. One of the cut apart, or one of the uh, chipboards, excuse me. Two of the flowers I made, this one, both of them using washi, this one on the outer flower and this one on the inner flower, and then one of the flowers that I had in my stash. And then I used some washi to make a binding for this tag booklet. And um, I just put it on some white cardstock and then I punched out a piece of the pink paper that came with the collection and um, just backed it so you could see it really pretty and then uh, made a tag uh, booklet. Um, I used my hole reinforcements that I colored with a gold Sharpie um, to put that over the holes. And then I thought it might be too thick to put ribbon in both of them. So I just put it on the top one here. Um, and that's actually seam binding that I got with the collection. So then this page turns. And then right here is another pocket. And um, this was one of the cut aparts that I put on cardstock that I had left over, one of the cut aparts here. And um, this was on some leftover white cardstock that I had. And then here is a pocket here. And in this, I took three of the cut aparts and then I just made like a trifold with that and put in here. I thought that would be kind of cute. And then on this piece right here, this pocket here, I used um, washi that I put on a piece of white cardstock and then punched the design to put at the top. I kind of thought that, you know, since this looked like drawers, that this might be like a, a doily or something hanging over the top of it. And then I did a slit cut 
and adhered it down. And then these were actually um, pieces of the paper that um, I cut out, little tags. And then I used some of the seam bindings on there. And then here is a little teeny tiny chipboard sticker that I put on here on the label. It says XOXO. So then over here, this page layout. So we'll start by, it opens up like this. And in here I have the other triangle pocket and another label that I made. And then I put a couple cut aparts in. Then um, I used another piece of the um, washi that I punched up at the top just to give it a little bit of um, color. Then these also open up like this. So you have even more opportunity for photos and things like that. And I just realized, I think I put this one upside down. Isn't that great? I'll just have to see if I can <laughs> try and fix that. Okay, I told you I was excited. All right. Um, so then this turns open, and I have another pocket here. And again, these were cut aparts that I put on the paper. Um, and then this right here was one of the 12 by 12 banners from one of the pieces. And I just cut out this part that says this is our happy place. And since in the tutorial I show you that these pockets are actually glued on, this part up here underneath this pocket is glued. So I just glued this on top up in here because it's not going to really matter. It's already glued shut up there anyway. So um, I put that up there and I thought that kind of um, was a cute way to use that embellishment as well. And then back here, one of our belly bands that we um, like to use and I used a couple cut aparts and then I also um, had a piece of brown cardstock left over that I created a little tag booklet with and I punched holes in the pattern paper here and put the ribbon through and then um, tied it in a little bow before I glued it down so that it would have that. And then on the bottom, because I didn't want things to fall through, I took and layered some of the cardstock, um, or chipboard, I don't know why I keep saying cardstock, chipboard stickers, and they say, um, it says beautiful here, and then there was this cute little embroidery hoop, this little dragonfly, and then the the uh, windmill behind. So I kind of layered those together and I just glued it down at the bottom so it makes a nice stop so that the papers don't um, come through. So that is my album. It's um, There's a base set of pages and then just these two add-ons that we put together. Um, so there you have it. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. Um, when it comes out, it should be out tomorrow, like I said. And um, I look forward to seeing um, if you make it. Please share because I would really love to see what you think and um, what you did and what papers you chose. But if you really want these papers, which um, I highly recommend because it's super, super, super cute. It's called um, Farmhouse Market by Cartabella. And it's available at uh, Country Craft Creations at countrycraftcreations.com. And you can get your brown artisan cardstock and your white artisan cardstock to go with it. And um, just have a lot of fun making this album and have a lot of fun um, playing with the new ways to do waterfalls. So um, thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye-bye.